Hello everybody. Again, welcome into the Truth Serum. Joe the Truth Wagner with you. Hope you're doing well today. And everybody got another pre-draft video as we are less than a week between now and the 2020 NFL Draft. Got another mock draft for the Pittsburgh Steelers to go for today. So everybody, as always, would really appreciate it if you could click that like button so I know you enjoy the content. And if you're brand new, so happy you found this channel. You'll really enjoy watching and and uh, listening to it, so please give that subscribe button a click too. But everybody, this video, this mock draft video for the Steelers today is being brought to you by SeatGeek. When the sports are back, and they will be, it'll take time, but they'll be back. SeatGeek, great place to get your tickets, great seats, great price. And if you use the code Joey Wagner, you'll get 20 bucks off your first order. So go get those tickets when the sports are back. But everybody, get ready, sit back, and enjoy Mock Draft 2.0 for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Everybody, the first part of this second Mock Draft is pretty similar to the first Mock Draft that I put out. Most of the changes are at the back half of the draft, and everybody before the draft, I'll come out with Mach 3.0, but we're focusing on 2.0 right now. Steelers have six picks in the draft. First one is in the second round. They do not have a first round pick because of the Minka Fitzpatrick trade. And they do not have a their original third round pick. They do have the compensatory third round pick. They don't have a fifth round pick because of the trade for Nick Vinette, the former Seattle Seahawk tight end, who signs with the Broncos in free agency a little bit. But second round, 49th pick. With that pick, the Steelers select J.K. Dobbins. The biggest hole on this Steeler team for me, everybody, the biggest hole I see this team having is a bell cow running back. A three down, run, catch, block, do it all running back. Right now, they don't have that on the roster. Benny Snell, he's a good power back. He's a good short yardage back. Jalen Samuels. He, I feel he's a, he's a very good third down receiving type back, similar to James White. Not as good as James White, but their game is similar. The closest running back to this do-it-all back that the Steelers have right now is James Conner. And I like James Conner. When he's healthy, he's a Pro Bowl caliber player. But he has a very hard time staying healthy had multiple nagging injuries last season. He'd get hurt, come back, and he'd get hurt again, and again, and again. I like James Conner. Really good running back when healthy. Even better person. I would never count the odds out against James Conner. But if I'm the Steelers, the biggest hole on my team right now is a stud running back. And I think J.K. Dobbins of Ohio State can fill that need for them. First round talent on a second round pick, J.K. Dobbins. If the Steelers get J.K. Dobbins, Steeler Nation, you better be jumping in your living rooms. I'd say dancing out in the streets, but we can't do that right now. We have to stay inside. But J.K. Dobbins with pick number 49. Now, already we're on to the third round, the compensatory pick that the Steelers received for losing Le'Veon Bell in free agency to the Jets, pick number 102. It is not Jalen Hurts, because the Steelers do not need a backup quarterback, <laughs> national media. But with the 102nd pick in the draft, the Steelers will grab... Michael Pittman Jr., wide receiver, USC. Everybody, Michael Pittman is a great prospect. Steelers have had great success with picking wide receivers in the draft. 
Juju Smith-Schuster went to USC. Everybody, Michael Pittman is really, really good. He's physical. He can block. He's big. He has good hands. Everybody, it wouldn't shock me if the Steelers used their second round pick to get Michael Pittman and then get a different running back later in the draft. That wouldn't surprise me. Michael Pittman is a great draft prospect, especially in these middle rounds. If the Steelers get him with their third round pick, he could be the steal of the draft. Because I wouldn't be, like I said, if, if the Steelers picked Pittman with their second round pick, it would be a very, very good pick. I wouldn't be shocked one bit if the Steelers grabbed Pittman first and then a, a running back later. But for this mock draft, I have Pittman for the third round. Now on to the fourth round. The Steelers have two fourth round selections. This is where they can fill out the back end of their roster, get a little bit of depth, which is always needed in the NFL because injuries happen. You need depth young players to develop so they can step into more prominent roles down the road. And with the first fourth round pick, which is pick number 124, the Steelers select Tyler Biedish, and I looked the pronunciation up. I didn't butcher this one. Tyler Biedish, offensive lineman, Wisconsin. In high school, he was the best O-lineman in the state of Wisconsin. He goes to one of the best schools in the country for developing O-linemen. If I'm an NFL team and I want an offensive lineman, they better be from two places. Iowa, Wisconsin. Beatish is from Wisconsin, so you know the coaching was high-level stuff. A good depth lineman at the start of his career. The Steelers, let's see, they can develop him. Maybe a future starter one day, but with the first fourth round pick, Tyler Biedish. Next fourth round pick for the Steelers is pick number 135. That is 11 picks later. And with pick 135, the Steelers select. Brandon Jones, safety out of Texas. Everybody, in this offseason, the Steelers have lost a good bit off of their back end of their defense. Uh, I mean, I understand that they, a, that they a, acquired Minka Fitzpatrick. He's the all-pro starter. But I meant in terms of depth. Sean Davis left in free agency, signed with the Redskins, I believe, on a one-year deal. Yeah, one, one year, five million for Sean Davis there. And the Steelers' depth at safety to me is lacking. Marcus Allen right now. He's fine. But if I'm the Steelers, you can, you can, in this, in this league, in the NFL today, everybody, you can never have enough competent defensive backs. So, I have Brandon Jones out of Texas. He was a veteran starter there. He's physical, hard-hitting safety, whether his body can hold up to giving out the big hits or be seen, but a good mind for the game. And he was a long-time starter at Texas. So now let's move on to the sixth round. Steelers have one pick in the sixth round, one in the seventh. Their sixth round pick is pick number 198. And this is a player that the Steelers have had communication with in their pre-draft process so far. And with pick 198, Steelers select Austin Hall, a hybrid safety linebacker out of Memphis. And everybody, this pick to me screams Mark Barron replacement. Last season in the Steelers' defensive scheme, 
They signed Mark Barron out of free agency to be that safety linebacker mix. And that's exactly what Austin Hall is. He is 6'1", 215, can do a little bit of all. Very versatile, can contribute on special teams. A good diamond in the rough in the late rounds of the draft. And now the seventh round pick that's pick 232. And with that pick, the Steelers select. Tyler Clark, defensive lineman, Georgia. And everybody, this pick is just to give the Steelers some, some depth where they need it on the defensive line. They have a hole at the nose tackle position. With Javon Hargrave leaving for the big contract in free agency with the Eagles. Tyler Clark, he's very strong, has good hands, he's 6'4", 300 pounds, can be a run stuffer. He has a pass rush move, he has one that's really, really developed, according to the draft reports on him. But in terms of pass rushing as a D lineman, he's a one-trick pony, so that's sort of a, a downside, but... You, you can teach him other moves on the pass rush. You can teach a power move. You can, it's teachable. And with, and with the coaching, they, they, they can also work on his effort and his motor, as that was at times an issue in college. That's what it said on his scouting report. So with a seventh round pick, Tyler Clark out of Georgia. So, everybody, in case you missed it, this is version 2.0 of the Steelers mock draft. I have them taking J.K. Dobbins, the running back, Michael Pittman Jr., the wide receiver, Tyler Beadish, the offensive lineman, Brandon Jones, the safety, Austin Hall, the safety linebacker hybrid, and Tyler Clark, the D lineman out of Georgia. Again, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and in the comments section, what do you think of this mock draft? Do you like it better than the first one? Do you like the first one better? Are there any other players you think the Steelers might select in the earlier rounds? Like, like I said, everybody would not shock me if the Steelers selected Pittman with their second round pick and then got a different running back later in the draft because the Steelers have met with quite a few running backs. So I just want to read your thoughts and have some fun back and forth football talk, everybody. Because some fun football talk right now is what all of us need. That's what we need right now. Uh, something to get our minds off of what's going on. And everybody, I'm keeping all of you in my prayers. Please stay safe out there. Make sure you're wearing a mask wearing gloves, washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and being smart, everybody. Uh, and, again, draft is the 23rd of April. I will be doing the entire first round live. I might even do rounds two and three the following night. We'll see. But, everybody, thank you so much for watching the Mock Draft 2.0 for the Steelers. And signing off from the Truth Serum, Joey the Truth Wagner. Have a great day.